Um, good afternoon, everybody. Our me fans, our partners, um, our media colleagues, and everybody who is watching us live. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, today is a special day for us. We are launching a new Note, a Redmi Note 6 Pro. My name is Manu Jain. I lead Xiaomi's business in India. If you look at the global ranking, uh, we are one of the top five players, the fourth largest smartphone maker, and one of the fastest growing one. Last year, same quarter, we did about 28 million units. And this quarter, as per IDC Q3, we shipped out about 34 million units. We are one of the top five brands in 30 global markets. And of course, my personal favorite, we are number one in India. Thank you. We have now been the number one brand for five consecutive quarters. We became number one in Q3 last year. And since then, every single quarter, we have been the number one smartphone brand in India. Thank you. If you look at the latest IDC numbers, we have about 27% market share in the country. This is across all price segments, online, offline, everything put together. Samsung is about 22%, and all other brands are at about 10% or lower than 10%. Now, of course, we have been selling a lot of quantities in online, and we started our India business on online platforms. But one of the things which has really helped us sustain our momentum over the last few quarters is our growth in offline. We, almost, we had a, almost a negligible presence in offline in the beginning of last year. And if you look at beginning of last year, our sales volume in offline was very small. And it has grown significantly since then. And since last year, our offline business has grown almost 40x from what it used to be. And even if you look at the GFK market share, now GFK tracks only offline sales or sellout, uh, but only in the offline segment. Our market share in offline used to be less than 1% or about 1% in the beginning of last year. And it has grown more than 20x to about 20.6% uh, in last quarter. We started building a Mi Home stores. Many of you guys attended our first Mi Note 5 Pro. is the king of dual camera smartphones. And today, we are going to make it even better with Redmi Note 6 Pro. The Redmi Note 6 Pro. Uh, now, Note series has always stood for one key thing. It has been the best all-round device available in the market across all price segments in the country. And this has happened for years. In fact, I was talking to a couple of fans out there, and I found people still using the Redmi Note 3. It's just such an incredible device, and that legacy has carried forward in each generation. Uh, incredible all-rounder. Uh, Manu also spoke about the fact that the Redmi Note 5 Pro was the best-selling dual-camera device in the country. We have taken things even further with the Redmi Note 6 Pro. As you can see, we've given it an incredible tagline, a quad-camera all-rounder. It is a Note, it is an all-rounder, and now it comes with four cameras. But not just that, a whole lot more. Let's talk about the cameras. Now, in Xiaomi, we have focused a lot on cameras, and we've come a long way. Uh, with the Redmi Note 6 Pro, we are bringing in our first quad camera setup to the country. And with the Note 6 Pro, it also takes things a lot further. Uh, it's not just a quad camera for the name of it, but it changes things significantly. Let's look at the primary camera and how we've changed this. Now, the primary camera actually is comprising of a 12-megapixel high-performance sensor. Now, this captures all your key images. Along with that, there is a 5-megapixel depth sensor. From, why did I say high-performance sensor? Because when you take pictures like this one, you get incredible details. Now, this picture was not clicked by a professional, but our team, and this is clicked in Bali. Uh, what you can see, incredibly detailed picture here, uh, the overall colors in the ocean are captured really well. Even the color of the water as it gets close to the land changes, and that has also been retained. Right? But not just that, if you look at the foreground, now this is really good contrast here, and the leaves are also in focus, detailed. Uh, what's also really hard for cameras in this segment to capture is the shadow and how accurately that's depicted. Let's look at another interesting image. Now, this was captured by Lucy. Uh, she's part of a global team. 
Uh, and this was shot uh, around the Horseshoe Bend in Arizona. Uh, what you can see is the overall shadow of the cliffs falling on the Colorado River. But there's another segment that we've been focusing on at Xiaomi, which is to improve your overall photography experience when the light conditions are a bit more challenging. Now, there are a lot of changes that we've done to the camera. However, I'd like to take your focus to a few of them uh, from a hardware perspective. Number one is for the first time on the Note series, you're using a wider f1.9 aperture. Now, with this aperture, what we've also changed is the camera sensor itself. Now, the camera sensor here has a massive 1.4 micron pixel size. Now, how does it work together? How does it change your overall camera experience? With the Note 6 Pro, not only with a wider aperture, you are able to capture a lot more light. In fact, this light is a lot more compared to the best-selling dual camera in the country, which is the Redmi Note 5 Pro. But with a larger pixel, uh, a 1.4 micron pixel uh, size, incidentally, can obviously effectively process about 25% more light. Uh, so you get more light coming in, and your sensor can also process this light better, giving you incredible uh, photographs in low light conditions. Let's take a look at this particular shot. Now, this is a really good shot. Of course, it has to be because it's clicked by the Note 5 Pro. Uh, you get all the detailing. Uh, none of the edges of the sign are blurred out. Uh, the entire uh, colors are coming out accurately. Now, what happens if you've got a wider aperture and a larger pixel size? And both of them working together along with Xiaomi's camera software, you get something like this with the Note 6 Pro. Now, the same scene shot, you get a whole lot more detail. What you didn't realize with the first one is this entire sign sits on this acrylic board. You can also see the rivets at the back. You can see the wiring. It's just able to process that light so much more better. And of course, the reason we've done all of this is because our fans have really liked our cameras. And this is something that really matters when we're kind of pushing this to the next level. Uh, let's look at a couple of other low light shots taken by the Note 6 Pro. Now, this is an amazing shot again. Now, this is a bridge late at night. Uh, flood lit, so it's really hard to capture the light properly. Of course, the parts that are lit are detailed, in focus, but what about parts which do not have a flood light coming through? For example, if you look at this particular beam here, now not only is this beam clearly seen, you can even see the individual rivets on that beam. It's absolutely incredible in terms of the details you can get with the Note 6 Pro. Not just that, if you look down and look at the road, the road signs are not, not fuzzy. They are in focus, they're sharp. In fact, you can even see the shadows of the beams coming onto the road. Now, this is something that you will not see from a camera in this segment at all. Let's take a look at another one. Now, this is another sign, really hard to capture because there's a lot of light coming in from the neon sign. But behind this, you can see the pillar. All the details of the brickwork has been preserved perfectly. Even the bar at the back can be seen. Uh, so that's the Note 6 Pro with the new wider aperture, which is oh, f1.9, and also importantly, a 1.4 micron large pixels. You are able to get clearer and sharper low light photographs than ever before, making this one of the best cameras that you can buy across segments. <clears throat> one more aspect which is quite interesting when it comes to low light photography, and that's how quickly can you focus. We have not left that out. With the Note 6 Pro, you also get faster focusing. Uh, of course, uh, this is something that we spoke about with the Note 4 as well, and then the Note 5, is we introduced something called PDAF, or phase detection autofocus. Now, how that works is roughly about 5% of your pixels are actively finding this focus and helping you focus faster on objects. Uh, the reason you need a faster focus is because you want to eliminate those blurry photographs coming in. When you're trying to take a capture, say, for example, somebody is blowing out a birthday cake, right? it's, it's a hard uh, image to capture. And of course, you just get that one moment. Imagine that that's a blurry image. Uh, so Note 5 Pro, obviously, you saw, is an incredible camera. But with the Note 6 Pro, we are taking this to a whole new level. What you get is dual pixel autofocus. That means all 
100% of the pixels are helping you find this focus. Uh, the re net result is a much, much faster focusing speed for all your photographs, especially when it comes to challenging light conditions. Let's take a look at how, uh, how much difference it makes when you're looking at this focusing speed. So on your left is the Redmi Note 5 Pro, and this one is the Note 6 Pro. In all conditions, whether it's color or a little more detailed one, the Note 6 Pro focuses a lot faster than the Note 5 Pro. So essentially what we've done is we've taken the best camera available in this segment and made it a whole lot better. With fast, faster focusing, what you can get is images like this one. Now he is doing parkour. Obviously he's, going, he's off the wall. Uh, now this shot, if you can see, he is completely in focus. You can see all the details, including his hair. But also, the background is kept in focus. It's detailed. You can see all of the elements. Uh, the, the entire faster focusing really helps get this. So dual pixel autofocus. Now, this obviously started with DSLRs, and we brought it down to uh, the segment for the first time. We also have kept electronic image stabilization. Now, this is something, again, a lot of me fans were asking us for. Uh, you guys were taking a lot of videos. And these videos, uh, you, with the EIS, you're able to kind of reduce the overall jitters, the shake that comes from these videos, making them a lot more shareable across channels. Uh, now, this is some part of you know, hardware and changes that we've got. Uh, however, we decided to take the Note cameras to a next level altogether. For the first time ever on the Redmi Note, we've got AI scene detection. Uh, now, why is this such a big deal? All of us, almost everyone, when we take a picture, we end up editing. Right? So we would go to that picture, try and play around with the contrast, or maybe try and change the overall saturation levels. But here's the harsh reality. Only 2% actually know what they're doing. Remaining 98, me included, have no idea how to get the best possible image out. Okay? And this is where our R&D team, our camera R&D team, has worked really hard, working through thousands and thousands of images for each scene to, get, to develop a really powerful learning algorithm. And it detects different scenes and gives you the best possible image. Uh, scenes like you know, your everyday city or architecture, or for mat that matter, if you're taking a picture of even a document, how is that text a lot sharper? Uh, sunrise or grass, how do the leaves kind of stand out a bit more? Of course, uh, the first image that you saw of uh, the, the image in Indonesia, where the leaves were really standing out, you could see some of that AI power coming to the fore. Uh, even the people uh, in our office in Bangalore have worked on certain India-specific uh, scenes. For example, with the wedding season on, Right. How does the Redmi Note 6 Pro camera highlight the jewelry better on the bride? Right. All of these things add up to make a really great camera. Let's look at the AI scene detection in action. Now, this is an incredible shot, of course. And it's a landscape. You can see the sea. You can see this, these mountains going up. You can see a beautiful sky. Uh, the, the AI scene detection understands this, enhances the overall color of the ocean, so it's, it's bluer. Uh, the contrast ratio on the land has been increased. And even if you look at the horizon, which you would normally miss out, has been dehazed. So you can see the horizon a lot more clearer. Overall, a much better picture. Before, or with it, without AI, and with AI. It makes a whole lot of difference in terms of the camera images the Note 6 Pro is able to capture. And finally, what are the memories that you are carrying with you? So a wider f1.9 aperture with a massive 1.4 micron pixel size, dual pixel autofocus for incredibly fast focus, electronic image stabilization, and now AI scene detection. All of them work together to give you a, a flagship level AI dual camera experience. But it is a dual camera. And the reason we have dual cameras is because we want better portraits. And with, I mean, I'm just jumping the gun here, but with the Note 6 Pro, it's just taking it to the next level altogether. Of course, what you know about Xiaomi's portrait mode is it works really, really well. 
We've got our own AI semantic segmentation, which is able to differentiate the subject from the background and really get you those beautiful blurs. Uh, for example, if I compare this with, a, say, a flagship device like the S9 Plus, uh, what you can see is not only are the details on the subject a lot more, but the overall edge detection is far superior. Uh, the hair color is a lot more accurate, but even the edge that you see on the, the hair side or even the shoulder here makes a lot more difference. Uh, but not just that, it's also the depth information and how you use it. The overall depth information here on the Redmi Note 6 Pro is a lot more than what you get on the S9 Plus. So with the Note 6 Pro and Xiaomi's AI semantic segmentation, you get incredible portrait shots ready to go up on Instagram or any of your social channels at all times. Uh, really good profile pictures. But like I said, with the Note 6 Pro, we are taking portrait photography to the next level altogether. Uh, that we are calling AI Portrait 2.0. Now, again, you've got two cameras. What are those two cameras doing? Are you using that to the maximum? Uh, with AI Portrait 2.0, we think we are. What you get is you get adjustable bokeh. You get studio lighting and light trails. Let me talk about each of these and why they're important. Adjustable bokeh. Now, typically, this is found on flagships. In fact, Apple recently announced uh, their latest flagship, and they really highlighted this feature. Of course, in Xiaomi, we believe that innovation is for everyone, and hence we are getting it to the Note series. What you do is, of course, you get an incredible portrait shot with the Note 6 Pro. But now, the power goes back to the user where you can decide how much bokeh you want to apply. All you need to do is go to the gallery, and you see the, the portrait icon up top. Click on this. And then after that, you get that control. So the amount of bokeh you want to apply is with you. So that's one. Number two, we've added studio lighting. Again, something that you see on flagships. Uh, how studio lighting works is, again, with our semantic segmentation, we're able to understand where the subject is, remove the background, and give you this really beautiful, dramatic shot. Uh, not just that, we've gone a step further and we let you do various customizations, different effects. So you've got a rainbow effect coming in. You've got cinematic effect, again, really dramatic. You've got a blinds effect. And there are a total six of this. So six different uh, portrait effects coming in on the Note 6 Pro. I don't know, it's a 6-6 six, six thing. Uh, the next one that I want to talk about is also uh, really significant for this segment, which is light trails. Uh, now, this is coming for the first time on the Note series. And this is something that was very close to our heart. Uh, so that's why what we did was to shoot light trails, we got the best model that we could find. Uh, an incredible handsome man uh, introducing Commander Galsasi Bro. Uh, <laughs> so of course, uh, with Rohit being there, everything anyways looks good, but there is a bokeh here, uh, if, in case you forget. Of course, what you can see is uh, those lights at the back. Now, what you can do is apply effects like this. So this is a swirl effect, which is dynamic. Not just this, you've got six different dynamic bokeh effects. For example, the light circles, or diamonds, and when Rohit is with me fans, the, to capture his mood, hearts. So what you do get is, for the first time ever, you get dynamic bokeh as well on the Note 6 Pro. Uh, once you've done this dynamic bokeh, what you can do is you can easily capture this either as an image, which is the final image, or as a video, which can be readily shared on any of your platforms uh, whether it's social or whether you want to put it on WhatsApp and send it across to somebody. So you get incredible portraits every single time with the Note 6 Pro. In fact, when we compare uh, the portraiture on the Note 6 Pro with some of the flagships out there, nobody offers you this level of control. 
right? There are people who offer portrait mode, of course. There are some people who have adjustable bokeh, uh, but none of them offer you light trails, studio lighting, AI scene detection, all in one complete all-round package. It's just an overall incredible dual camera setup. So to sum it up, uh, flagship level AI rear dual camera, you got an uh, incredible 12 megapixel uh, plus a 5 megapixel uh, depth sensor. It has dual pixel autofocus. It has electronic image stabilization. You get better low light photography thanks to the wider aperture and the larger pixel size. You've got AI scene detection coming in um, and recognizes 32 categories. And of course, what we just saw, a uh, really dramatic, uh, really cool AI portrait tool auto where you can control your bokeh, you can have uh, light trails and really dramatic uh, studio lighting as well. But we did say quad camera, so let me talk about the two cameras up front. Now, these are also really cool, where you've got a 20 megapixel primary camera, and this is clubbed with a 2 megapixel. Uh, what we did was we tried to do a, compar a comparative shot. Uh, unfortunately, we had to kind of look at anything else which had two cameras in the front, so that it was fair to others, right? Uh, so the closest one we could find was the Samsung A8 Plus. Now, this one is a 28,000 rupee device, but it does have a dual camera in the front. Uh, the, the results, actually, we had to go back time and again to check if they were actually coming in from the camera, because there's a whole lot of difference that you see. Uh, if you can see the overall blur level, the, the bokeh that comes at the back, the edge detection is the next level with the Note 6 Pro. In fact, let me zoom in for you. Uh, if you look at the hair and the details that are coming into the hair, but not just that, but the edge detection, which is really tough in a scene like this, coming in all from the front camera alone. Really great shots. Uh, let's look at a few more portrait selfies. Uh, this is, again, a great shot where the, uh, the background blurred out beautifully. But what's also important is you see the hair, you see her entire arm. Everything is pin sharp. It's in focus while the background gets this uh, amazing bokeh. Another image, uh, everything else of the subject uh, is in focus, and the background is blurred out. It retains the depth information. You get this gradient depth as you go further, overall providing for a great front portraits as well. The 20 megapixel also comes with uh, a super pixel technology, where it bins four pixels together to form an effective size of a 1.8 micron massive pixel size. So essentially, in low light condition, it helps you take in a lot more light and give you better low light selfies like this one. Again, uh, a great low light selfie. Uh, she is still in focus. Uh, you can see everything clearly. And of course, the beautiful bokeh, uh, especially with those lights at the back. It looks really cool. We have in the front camera kept AI Beautify, which detects uh, your overall skin, uh, analyzes that, and digitally applies kind of a makeup. Uh, obviously, it does a whole bunch of things, but we'll not go into that, because there's something even better. We've added AI scene detection to the front camera, uh, not just the back, but the front camera also gets AI scene detection for the first time ever. And uh, this one can detect up to 12 categories. So for example, if you're taking a, a, a selfie in front of a beach, it will detect that. Or for example, against a sunset, or maybe if you're next to uh, some foliage, some leaves, right? And how this works is quite interesting. Now there's a whole lot of things that will happen, but let me talk about this. So you look at this particular picture. Uh, now, Xiaomi's AI semantic segmentation will detect where this person is, enhance that photograph. So this is digitally applying makeup. It looks a lot brighter. Knows what the background is. And if you've not gone for a portrait shot, it also in improves the overall uh, background image. Let me show you again. So original image, the person gets AI beautify. The background, it knows it's for leaves, and it applies uh, uh, AI scene detection to that, improving the overall image quality. So what you get are incredible results. So even from a front camera perspective, what you're getting is a flagship level front dual camera. You get 20 megapixel primary uh, with super pixel technology. You get a 2 megapixel depth sensor. You get real-time portrait preview. You get AI portrait selfie. 
AI Beautify, and AI Scene Detection, some of that working together as we just saw in the last slide. So from an overall camera perspective, not just rear or front, but the four cameras working together, so flagship level quad cameras, what you are getting is a 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel rear. You get great low light photography with a wider aperture, larger pixel size. AI enhancements, AI scene detection, and of course the incredible AI portrait coming in for the first time. In the front as well, you get a 20 megapixel camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor with super pixel technology. You get AI portrait selfie along with real time preview and scene detection in the front. Again, a new one. So a whole lot of things happening here on the camera, giving it almost a, a flagship level quad camera experience. Now let's move on to the next part, performance. Now the Redmi Note 6 Pro comes with this incredible Snapdragon 636. Now, of course, uh, you know, people did kind of know about this. Some people guessed this. Uh, and we saw a couple of memes coming in, right? <laughs> so yeah, like it's Radflix, uh, it's, it's 636 for Xiaomi. And actually, they're, they're really right. Because when we are looking in for what processor goes into a device, we're looking primarily at three things. Of course, there are a whole bunch of other variables. Is it able to run all apps and all the latest games smoothly? Right? Does it have great thermal performance? And does it provide high power efficiency? And the answer is an incredible yes. A Snapdragon 636 is a proven chipset. Uh, we've worked on it. Uh, I think uh, it's been about 10 months since we, we introduced it uh, to the world with a global debut in uh, the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Uh, not only have we understood this processor better, but we've had a chance to work with it, further refine it, and you will see how it kind of improves a few things. Now, 636 itself is based on the cryo architecture, so it's a cryo 260 architecture, which is Qualcomm's semi-custom architecture. Uh, cryo, if uh, you guys are aware, was largely used in the 800 series, and Qualcomm obviously worked it to come into the 636. Now, this is an octa-core processor having a big little architecture, which means there are four performance cores, which give you that performance boost when you need it. And then you've got four cores, which are more towards a battery efficiency, getting you the better, better battery life, which, again, the Note is known for. So all of that works well together. There's one more particular element which we really like on the 636, is the Spectra 160. And looking at the Note 5 Pro and the results that you've seen with the Note 5 Pro, you would have seen it with your friends. Uh, and of course, if you are using a, a Note 5 Pro, uh, the pictures that you've clicked, the image signal processing has been brilliant. And of course, we've been fine tuning it, we've been tweaking it, and that's the one of the key reasons why on the Note 6 Pro, it gets even better, right? So overall, better camera hardware, and on top of that, we've added uh, a little more fine-tuning to the image signal processing, giving you a much better overall experience. The Note 6 Pro will come with up to 6 gigs of DDR4X RAM. Now, this is the fastest RAM available for phones in the market. And like I was talking about optimizations, the Note 6 Pro is capable of launching apps almost 30% faster. And how this happens is thanks to optimizations that are coming in on MIUI 10. Yes, this will be the first Xiaomi device in India to ship with MIUI 10 on day one. Uh, but not just faster app launches. I also want to talk about a whole bunch of other optimizations that we've done. Uh, there are more than about 20, but let's talk about dynamic resource allocation. Now, with the Note 6 Pro, uh, the system automatically detects which apps you're using, where it needs to divert more system resources so that you get a more smoother experience. Not just that, but if you look at deep sleep recovery, now this is something that actually goes into battery management, uh, where when your phone is in standby, when you're not using it, it goes into kind of a deeper sleep, hence kind of saving your battery life. But with MIUI 10 on the Note 6 Pro, the moment you power on the device and go into an app, it's able to recover a lot faster 
and hence you do not feel those lags. You know those lags when come in when you first start using a particular device after it's been lying around for like an hour or two hours. Now with Note 6 Pro and MIUI 10, that will not happen. So overall with the Note 6 Pro, you get an all-round balanced experience. You get the Snapdragon 636, which has been proven time and again. Uh, the LP DDR4X RAM and system optimizations thanks to MIUI 10. A few other things. The Note 6 Pro is dual SIM, dual Volte. Uh, a lot of people are using more and more Volte SIMs. And in case you've got two Volte SIMs in the same phone, you don't have to choose anymore. Uh, with the Note 6 Pro, uh, both of them can actually be, uh, one will be active, other will be in standby, where you can receive calls on both so you don't miss out. Uh, but what's also interesting is, uh, suppose you are on SIM 1, and that's your primary SIM, and that's where your data is, and you get a call coming in. The system can, if you enable it, and that's in the settings, move that data to SIM 2. So you're not disconnected. Even if you're on a long call, your data keeps flowing through. Now, these are small, meaningful inf innovations which kind of help make an all-rounder. One more very interesting thing about connectivity while we're here is uh, something that I actually faced when I was just coming in uh, to Delhi. So I was flying out of Bangalore. And for some reason, the Bangalore airport overall data speeds were not really good at all. And I had to get my emails down. And obviously, Manu keeps sending a whole lot of work, right? Uh, so I couldn't get any of it. And of course, uh, I wanted to get connected. So what do you do? You connect to airport Wi-Fi. Now, they give you one OTP. So that means one device can be active. What do I do with that? Right? I have multiple devices. I need to be on the phone. I need to be on the laptop. They all have to be connected. Uh, normally, when you switch on hotspot, it uses your 4G data. On the Note 6 Pro, it has something that we are calling Wi-Fi pass-through. Where you, if you are connected to a Wi-Fi which has an internet connectivity, it will take that internet connectivity and almost act like a repeater where you can connect multiple devices. Right? So with one particular login, you can have almost your entire set. I don't know. I'm sure most of you guys in this room carry at least about three or four devices. Uh, so all of these things are connected, your tablet, your laptop, other phones, anything that you need on that one single Wi-Fi connectivity. So a really cool innovation. OK, let's, let's move back to the, the all-rounder note. I, I got distracted because this is really cool. Uh, of course, it won't be a note if it didn't have a big battery. So you get a 4,000 mAh, two-day battery life, under heavy usage. Actually, it's, it's a little better than the 4,000 mAh that you've come to know of. Uh, when we did lab tests, we got some astounding results. For example, your 4G calling of up to 30 hours, or video playback of 15 hours, standby of 12 days, when the battery life has actually taken a step further. And to go even further, now it supports Quick Charge 3.0. Now, in the box, it'll come with a 10-watt charger, but you can head over to me.com and pick up a quick charger uh, at a really honest price. So the Note 6 Pro has a Snapdragon 636, a very proven, very capable processor with the Spectra 160 ISP, has Cryo 260 cores, comes with the fastest RAM, the DDR4X, uh, and you will get up to 6 gigs. You've got a noteworthy 4,000 mAh two-day battery life, you, we are supporting Quick Charge 3.0 for those people who uh, want that. Uh, you've got overall system optimizations, much faster response time with MIUI 10 out of the box. Let's take a look at the Note 6 Pro from a design perspective. Now, this is the Note 5 Pro. Now, what Note 5 Pro brought in the 18 is to 9 aspect ratio to our uh, portfolio. With the Note 6 Pro, what we've done is we've extended the screen even further. Uh, now, this is a massive 6.26-inch display. It is a full high-definition plus uh, with a PPI of about 403. And what we, we did kind of retain here while we extended the screen is a notch. Now, why is this notch important? Because that, it does a whole bunch of things. You've got two cameras in the front, which we spoke about. You've got a redesigned earpiece with a changed metal mesh. You've got a notification light, 
You've got proximity and light sensors, all of that kind of compressed into that small area. Uh, so you get a larger screen, and it retains all the sensors, all the uh, things that you care about, adding a second camera to it. It is protected against your daily wear and tear with Corning Gorilla Glass. So you get a 19 to 9 full screen display with notch. You can turn that notch off if you want. Uh, you get a full high definition display. And we've also improved the overall sunlight legibility by taking this up to a whopping 500 nits. Now, this is a much better, much more brighter display than any of our notes till date. Uh, of course, uh, you know, for the people who are here, you can experience this in the experience uh, zone after the event. Uh, it does come with an uh, improved curve design. It's an aluminum build. Uh, the overall curvature has been increased so that you get a better hand feel. But not just that, we've taken our arc design, which a lot of me fans loved, and increased the curvature on the edges as well. Now, it's a very subtle change, but makes a whole lot of difference when you're holding the phone. It just improves the overall grippability of the device. Here's the, the Note 6 Pro in black. Of course, this is the, the favorite color, the classic black. Uh, we are also having the Note 6 Pro in rose gold. Uh, my favorite color, the all new blue. It just looks incredible here. Uh, with the blue, the new blue with rose gold. Of course, uh, a lot of fans have asked us, so the Note 6 Pro will also come in this incredible red. And the red looks absolutely gorgeous with the, the entire front also being black. So, you know, with, with this new display as well as the, the enhanced colors, it, it just looks a great overall phone. Uh, Let's look at all the four colors together. So you've got the red, you've got rose gold, you've got the all new blue, and of course the classic black. As you can tell, I'm more of a black person. I'm, I'm already in black. But while we've improved the overall build quality, we've done a lot of things that are for India. Of course, uh, we've spoken about this. Quality continues to be our top priority when we are launching devices. In fact, we do a whole bunch of tests for every device that we have. For example, fingerprint sensor is tested for about 6 lakh times. Or the USB port is tested 10,000 times in terms of how well it can stand up to wear and tear. Even uh, we increased the directional drop uh, height to about 1 meter for India. Overall, a lot more robust device, a higher quality device, and that is, again, a reason why a lot of Mi fans still continue to happily use a two-year, two-and-a-half-year-old Xiaomi device because it is a much higher quality. Right? They don't break out. Uh, they don't slow down. It's an overall better experience. Uh, but not just that. We have one more problem in the country, voltage fluctuation. Now, we all face this. You know, uh, winters, luckily, it kind of goes down a bit. But summers is a problem. Uh, and of course, uh, you know, when the voltage surges, uh, your best case scenario, if a surge goes up to like about a 300, 320 volts, is your charger will go. Obviously, the worst case scenario, the charger and the phone is dead. And then you've got to go to the service center and go through the entire uh, process. We've kind of eliminated that with, by having a made for India voltage charger, a uh, power adapter. Now, our power adapter can withstand up to 380 volts. So really useful. Again, small innovations that all add up. Uh, so all the spikes, anything that you get, uh, your phone is protected thanks to the Xiaomi charger. Uh, one more thing that we wanted to talk about. What's common between these two photographs? Any guesses? So the photograph on the left, of course, uh, you've got Manu here and the Redmi Note 6 Pro. So what's common between these two? Anyone? OK, it's a really lame joke, but they both have the jack. <laughs> OK, moving on from jack. 
Talking about Jack, actually we've changed a few things for Jack as well. I mean, not that Jack, but our Jack. Uh, we've added rust protection. So in the headphone jack and charging port, uh, people in Delhi would not really face this, but the people who are staying in coastal areas where there's a lot more humidity and heat, uh, there is a genuine problem of uh, corrosion coming in. Uh, we've added rust protection on the Note 6 Pro. Again, the focus being on higher quality devices for our fans. So if I look at what all has changed, uh, a whole bunch of improvements coming in over the best-selling uh, dual camera phone in the country, the Note 5 Pro. What you get is a dual front camera. You get a larger display, a uh, much larger display actually is a 6.26 inch. You get incredible primary camera. Uh, it's a 12 megapixel with a massive 1.4 micron pixel size. You get a wider aperture. You get much faster focusing with dual pixel autofocus. You get AI scene detection. You get AI portrait 2.0. And you saw what those AI portraits can do. You've got Quick Charge 3 supported. Of course, you have to buy the, the charger separately. You've got uh, the proven Snapdragon 636. You've got electronic image stabilization. You've got a noteworthy 4,000 mAh two-day battery life. You've got Corning Gorilla Glass display protection in the front, making this a perfect quad cam all-rounder. Uh, again, to sum it up, dual cameras at the back, dual cameras in the front. AI enhancements, two-day battery life, Snapdragon 636, and the all-new display. Overall, a great all-rounder. Uh, so what I would do is, uh, from here, our team has worked on an incredible video. I'd play that video, and then I'd like to call Manu on stage after that. So now, on to our last part, the price. This is probably the most interesting and weighted part during any of our launch events. Let's look at it. So we are launching two different variants, the 4GB, 64GB, and 6GB, 64GB. And of course, we have some other products which have comparable specs, or maybe you can say Note 6 Pro will have better processor, maybe better camera, better battery. And let's try and see what prices can we hit for Note 6 Pro. So for 4GB, 64GB, the price is going to be, OK, I can see a lot of cameras coming out. <laughs> uh, the price for 4GB, 64GB is going to be 13999 yeah. Hold on, hold on. We have a few more surprises for you guys. Uh, and the price for 6GB, 64GB is going to be 15999 So 14999 and 15999 for 4GB, 64GB, and 6GB, 64GB variants. Every single Redmi Note 6 Pro that will be shipped in India will have an ultra slim case inside the box. And because it's coming from the company, you can be assured about quality and fit. Our partner, Reliance Geo, is giving a 2400 for the 4GB, 64GB variant. And for the 6GB, 64GB, the price is going to be 14999 Only for 4 GB 64 GB variant for 12,500 and a 6 GB 64 GB variant for 14 and a half thousand rupees. <laughs> and
And soon, this product is also going to be available across all our offline stores, including Me Preferred Partners and all the rural stores that we spoke about. So that's all, guys. Thank you for joining us today.